Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I didn't manage to get it in time, but this heart piece actually kind of mysteriously like floats down from the sky as this guy like rains it upon you for donating enough money. So I've actually successfully gone ahead and I have donated a thousand rupees to this guy, which is a lot of money. And now that our wallet's drained, uh, we can go back and uh, we can pay another visit to Agatha. <laughs> Yay, exciting. Woo! Let's go. Because we certainly have more than enough bugs to donate to her. Alright, Agatha, I need to fill up my wallet and I need to uh, go and donate some more money to some more people. So I'll donate you some bugs and uh, you donate me some money and everything will be a okay. So I'm just, I went ahead and I kind of got rid of one of the pairs, so I'm trying gonna do this the fast way. I'm just going to go ahead um, and do the pairs so I can get the, the orange rupee. So let's give her a pill bug. I wish I was smaller so I could roll you around like a ball. Ugh. So... Still don't have another wallet upgrade, we're still only able to carry 600 rupees, but uh, it's more than enough if we just kind of space this out. So, pill bugs are now uh, brought back, let's give her the uh, beetle. See what she has to say about the beetle, nothing too interesting I'm sure. Let's see, I want to use that shiny shell as a pillow and fall asleep. There's, there's so many, like, bed innuendos. It's just like, I want to sleep on your shell, and I want to roll you in a ball, and I want to roll in your powder. It's just like, what? What is wrong with you? You have psychological issues. Y you need counseling and a lot of therapy, young lady. Bring her the dragonfly, which we found last episode. So, I like dragonflies. They're really pretty. When you look at me with those great big eyes, I... Oh, I already read that. Oh yeah, that was because that was the first bug we brought back, I think. Anywho, that's a pair. We, I think we only need 400 rupees uh, to bring back to Mallow Mart, so... Uh, I'm gonna give her two more, just in case I don't have like the exact number that I need. So let's uh, go ahead, let's give her the uh, female Phasmid. Which will create another pair. Ugh, she wants to tie their long antennas into bows. And what would she do? Would she, like, wear them in her hair or something? I don't know. I mean, she does have pretty long hair, I gotta say. Alright, last bug we're gonna turn in is the grasshopper. So there you go, Agatha. I've still got plenty of bugs in my pocket, but, uh, you cannot have them. I'd love to tickle your belly all day long. Oh, that gets so annoying to like tickle a a uh, grasshopper and have the the chirping noise they make go off. That would just be really irritating to me. But anywho, we only have eight bugs left to return to her, and uh, when we do that, we will get a bigger prize. But for now, my wallet's pretty much full, and I want to go back to Kakariko. So, see you later, Agatha. I had a lot of fun taking your money, but now it is time to return. And if I leave Castletown, I should be able to warp uh, right back to the village. And hopefully it'll be daytime, because it needs to be daytime for me to be able to get into uh, Mallow Mart. Unfortunately, there is no, like, sun-changing song in this game, to my knowledge. But it seems like warping around pretty much does the trick, because you have to warp all over Hyrule. So we need to go to Kakariko Village. And I just pray it's daytime by the time we get there. Of course it's not. Alright, well, there's actually another thing I wanted to do in this video. Hopefully no one will see me so I can actually uh, warp somewhere else. There's another heart piece that I know I could get. It's actually all the way back in Orden Village, which is quite a long ways to warp, so we'll warp there instead and see if that changes the time of day. Alright, well, ooh, there's also a golden wolf, which I 
didn't even really think about or completely remember it was there. So let's go ahead and just do that for now. Landed like right in front of it. We can get another uh, special technique. It'd be really funny if because I was wearing Zora armor he would like tell me I wasn't the hero and I had to like get out and change my clothes. That'd be really funny. The next is the greatest of the hidden skills I've taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? I do. Very well. And we need to, of course, show him the backslice. We only really learned that a few episodes ago. So it should be pretty fresh in our minds. We just want to get up behind your enemy and uh, hit them from the back. Very, very simple stuff. Alright. My fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. Oh, it just sounds so epic. Teach me more, sir. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with your enemy by, or by your with your blade by immediately striking from behind. Excuse me. Oh, so awesome. This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me! Okay, so what did you say? Use your shield and then use A to get behind them? Okay, so shield attack and then that and then that. That's not too bad. Damn, Link, you are acrobatic. Hmm, impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a helm splitter. Alright, sweet. I don't use it a whole lot, but it does look pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. And we still have three more to find, so we're actually uh, making some pretty good headway on these skills as well. So, so the more Howling Stones out in the world, though. Alright, so like I said, we need to go back to Orden Village. I am hoping that uh, we are able to do this because it is nighttime. I don't see why we couldn't, though. Damn, times of the day is just so damn inconvenient. Making my life more difficult than it has to be. We have pretty much like picked this entire place clean. There are a few other things, like there's some pole souls in here, I do believe, and a few other small things to do later, which I'm going to completely ignore for the time being. But when we were, when we were in the shop, uh, the fortune tellers, if you remember, she uh, did a little bit of a close-up of uh, Orden Ranch, because there's actually a heart piece you can get by ranching a bunch of goats. So... I don't really know if Fado's gonna be here. Of course he's not. Because it's closed at nighttime. Just like everything else in this game. Why do you why do you hate me, game? I would like to know. I think that's a very, very good question to ask me. So he has a heart piece here, I might come back for it later, like I said. If it would ever like the day time time of day would ever change, that would be wicked. Alright, back to Kakariko we go. Alright guys, so I'm back. I had to go on the world map and do a little bit of running around to make the day turn, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Sun Song would be so useful right now, you have no idea. But now we can go to Mallow Mart. And if we talk to this interesting looking Goron, we're 410 rupees short, so we definitely have enough money. Let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, give him the rest of the money. Because you can fix that bridge. Glorious day! We have collected enough funds to finance repairs to the bridge connecting East Castle Town to Hyrule Field, brother. Those corrupt price gouging shops in Castle Town are officially on notice. Soon they will rue. We hope that you will continue your financial support of our efforts to sell products in the town at discounted prices, Bretta. Yeah, I'm sure you look forward to my patronage. Because I am the only one giving you money. Now, this guy mentioned his kid and how his kid was in trouble. We can actually go back to uh, Castle Town to where the east is, where they're going to build the bridge. And um, we are actually able to do a little bit of a side quest. We need to donate more money, but if we do uh, that side quest, it will actually help us um, with the, lower the cost of the next um, upgrade a little bit more. So, now that it's turned a day, and it just turned a day, which took, again, like I said, a ridiculous amount of time, I'm gonna try to go back, um, 
to Orden and get one final heart piece to wrap up the episode. Because I'm actually kind of running out of stuff I wanted to do. I'm sure there's a lot more on the world map. There's a lot more heart pieces and stuff that I could explore, but I don't want to get too carried away. I'd rather just, you know, stick with what I know for now so I don't get confused and miss, like, one location of, like, a heart piece or something and, you know, not being able to find it. So, anyways, go back to Orden now. And we're back at the beautiful Orden music. Ah, it's been a while since we heard that. I've never tried this, but I wonder if I can go talk to Bo and tell him that Ilya is okay. Because Renato seems to know Bo and told him, you know, like, if you see Bo, tell him his daughter's safe and all that jazz. We're gonna go to Fado's first, though. And now it's open, and it's full of music and all the goat gloriness that I love so much, except not really, because goats are jerks. Alright, let's uh, go ahead. Talk to Fado. What's up? Do you miss my help? I bet you do. Link, I heard. Sounds like everyone's over in Kakariko, and everyone in town who'd been all down in the mu- down in the- what? Who'd been- I, I don't even understand that sentence. All down in the mouth? That sounds really disgusting. They're all finally starting to feel their oats again. That's all because of you, bud. Thanks a ton. Where's my heart piece? Give me my damn heart piece. You leave these scamps to me. I'll manage without y'all somehow. Besides, Link, come on. Can't you find a way to get Ilya and the tots back here just a hair quicker? No, I cannot. I'm working the hardest that I can. And I'm not talking to you. I'm trying to blow into this grass. Because I do know that you can do this game one more time and you can get a heart piece. I guess maybe I have to get the kids back, but that seems a little uh, ridiculous of a task to do. Maybe, maybe if I talk to him while I'm on my horse, he will uh, change his mind. Yo! Hey, what up? Well, hey there, Link. Brought my ass, huh? You bet I did. Well, how about it? Wanna round up them goats for the first time in a dog's age? I bet these scamps are sure happy to see you. Yeah, sure thing. Great, I'll leave it to you two today. Yeah. I bet you would. Alright. I don't think there's uh, any like best time to beat or anything. I think you just have to come back and do it again. Although, again, I could be wrong. That's just kind of my understanding was that you'd have, you just had to come back and do it again. I would assume that if there was like a best time to beat or something, they would probably have it up in the corner. Like, you need to beat this amount of time or, you know... Or like, this is better than your last time, or you know, whatever, what have you. So, we'll see how we do. Uh, I might do worse than last time, and maybe Fado won't uh, get me anything, but... This should land us a heart piece. Get in, goats! There we go. Just all the corner goats I gotta grab now, that's irritating. Get, get down there. And then, of course, the one goat that's all like, Hey, I'm going to rebel against my fellow goat. Goaterians, or whatever you want to call them. My fellow goat mates, and just kind of chill out here to the side. And we've got one more. So, again, it doesn't matter how many times I do this, I'm still not like the greatest at it. But then again, how does one really perfect the art of goat herding? I don't know. I guess by doing it a lot, just like anything else, really. There we go. Way to ride, Link. You wrapped up in just one minute and nine seconds. Thanks to you, I wrapped things up a mite earlier today. As promised, here's a little healthy gift for y'all. Good luck out there. Why, well, thank you, Fado. I very much appreciate it. It's a good thing I was able to wrap early today, bud, thanks to your help. Thanks a ton. Yeah, you're welcome. You just want to use me as your slave to make your manual labor a little easier, don't you? Alright, so I'm going to leave it off here, because I have a crap ton to cut out and I have no idea how long this episode is going to be so yes I will uh, leave Link looking awesome on my ass and we'll continue on in the next episode I shouldn't have any more side questing stuff and uh, maybe we can get back to the main story so thanks for watching everybody and I hope that I will see you next time <laughs>